Good morning, this is Jeff from the Watkins Tree Farm. How are you guys? Today is going to be a summer update on the Watkins Tree Farm and just wanted to keep you uh, informed on what's going on out here. We are in the dog days of summer guys. It is hot and for me the evenings are the only time I can work and it's still hot. Last night before dark it was still 100 degrees. Ugh. Look at this forecast guys. I'm going to put it on the screen. I can't wait till we get to fall and start some of these other projects. Speaking of projects, what are we doing around here? I'm trying to keep mama's flowers alive. Uh, we made that uh, flower bed. I can put that video up there and uh, we're keeping those flowers alive. We have a little bit of flowers in the front of the house. And, uh, Obviously, I'm trying to keep the trees alive, guys. And uh, with the heat, the way it's been lately, we are watering at least once a week, putting an inch of water down on those trees. Another thing that uh, goes on during the summer is about this time, the weeds are going nuts, guys. Some of the weeds around here are six feet tall. I have a particular area behind the house where I've got the apple trees and I planted some potatoes over there. I wanted to take my property back. So the other evening, uh, my sons and I went back there and we weed whacked it and I eventually mowed it and I took my yard back. It seems like I'm just being choked in here with these weeds. If you don't mow it, the weeds just grow six feet tall. We also did a little cleanup around here. I don't know if you guys have seen in the background of some of my videos, but we have a uh, playset called the Lunar Lander. Hence, it looks like the Lunar Lander. And uh, we got that from my buddy in Great Bend. Well, we had a swing set on it, and uh, I kind of got it hooked up with the uh, tractor when I was mowing one day and uh, pulled that down. Now that thing was rotted anyway, it was probably a good thing that I pulled it down before someone got hurt. And so we cleaned that up and took it out back and uh, we'll eventually burn it. And so I think the yard looks a lot better. We a couple other things that's happened lately is um, we did have our first uh, chicken attack probably in four or five years. It was a possum, a mama and two babies. And so I set traps out and um, that has been resolved. We only had one loss of a chicken, but still you hate to lose any chickens. Another big news we had is uh, we have a new addition to the Watkins Tree Farm. This is Chopper, guys. He is a nine, 10 week old Vizsla. Back when he was born, Evan came home and said, Hey, one of my classmates is having uh, Vizsla puppies. Can I get one? And we were just like, ah, uh, probably not. And then I'd say a week, week and a half ago, uh, the mother posted that she had three puppies left. And we told Evan if he wants one, he can go get one. So we went over there and he picked Chopper. So this is Chopper. He's the new addition to the Watkins Tree Farm. Let's say Bo is tolerating him. He's getting better. And uh, as long as Chopper doesn't get in Bo's face, he's all right with whatever Chopper does to him. I have a cool video for you guys. I have an app on my phone that kind of shows you one year ago, two year ago, you know that app. And uh, I think it was just a couple days ago, the app showed me doing a panoramic view of the Christmas tree farm. I thought it would be cool to do a panoramic view of the trees now. So I'm gonna put that clip up there right now for you guys.
tell me down below what you think. Have you ever heard that analogy where you're so stuck in the trees that you're just focused there and you need to step back and look at the forest? Well, that's what that did for me. Uh, you're just sitting there trying to keep those trees alive and you're just the daily grind and you don't realize how much they've grown in the last year and appreciate what you do have. My trees have come a long way as you can see in that video and I thought I'd share that with you guys. A couple things going on with the Watkins Tree Farm. We have um, some future projects. I, uh, I try to get content to you guys at least once a week and uh, just appreciate the channels that you do follow that have a new project or a new piece of equipment every week. That costs money guys and that's something that I don't have right now so I am trying to find content something every week for you guys and I hope you appreciate it. Something coming up for us in the fall I've got that fallen tree that I started working on in late spring and uh, I need to continue to uh, clean that up and get that area all cleaned up. I uh, still need to split some wood so when it gets cooler we'll do some uh, wood splitting videos and get some of that all taken care of. I've got wood everywhere so we need to get that split and stacked. The Watkins Tree Farm is going to get a new fireplace for the uh, metal shed over here. So we will have a little fireplace. You can uh, kind of stand around and get all cozy. And so that is a project that uh, we'll be working on. It's an older stove, so uh, I'm gonna have to sand it and restore it and paint it, clean it up, maybe get some new glass, maybe build a uh, like a hearth or something up there. We'll figure it out. Beth really wants me to paint the floor in there in the metal shed, so we'll be doing that. Uh, we haven't quite decided on a color yet, but uh, I think it's going to be some sort of gray. And so we'll be painting the floor for that, guys. What a beautiful morning. The sun's coming up. It is supposed to be 106 today, so I'm appreciating it right now. What a beautiful morning. And then we just need to get ready for the season, guys. We ordered our Christmas trees, but we were only able to get 100 trees again this year. I don't know if inflation directly. I think it was more COVID during COVID. Uh, a lot more people bought Christmas trees and a lot of the uh, Christmas tree farms up north sold a lot more inventory than they originally planned so now they're short when it comes to years after that and so I'm being told here next year or 2024 things should be back to normal and I'm sorry they've gone up in price a little bit but we'll do the best we can to provide a Christmas tree for you guys. And guys, I just want to thank you for uh, following the channel and your support, comments. Uh, RG Stolf, you know who you are. Just thank you for everything you've done to the channel. Much appreciated. In the meantime, you guys take care. God bless, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.